Hello Virgo, welcome to Josie K Tarot. I'm Josie K and this is the Single Virgo Weekend Reading for the weekend of June 26th of 2020. I'm starting out with the Wisdom of the House of Night deck by PC Cast and Colette Baron Reed, and I'm going to lay a Celtic spread. So, dear Lord, Spirit Guides and Angels, please bless whichever Virgo I'm reading for with clearly defined messages regarding the weekend of June 26th of 2020. So, today, as of Friday, we have a Virgo who is either receiving a message or whom who is sending a message in the thoughts position we have focus now the focus of this particular person is aiming towards the past and we'll check that in a minute in the foundation we have honesty somebody who is being guided to be honest with themselves about the success of a connection in the recent past maybe last week today is june 26th of 2020 uh, someone here was in denial and are now being guided to be more honest with themselves. For by Saturday, tomorrow on the 27th, some Virgos are either walking in the energies of deceit or connecting with someone whereby the energies of deceit are involved. So there is a need for honesty within oneself regarding communication and deception. Now, in the actions position, Virgo, you do have the rigid energy. Sometimes this is a time to really look at, is someone being rigid? Are they being closed off? You're really focused on this denial here, according to this focus pointing towards the denial card. So we have, in the spiritual advice position, thank goodness, the high priestess of air. So she's showing up to help this Virgo to bring a quick and swift ending to anything that involves energies of deception for anything built on that energy will crumble and fail. The high priestess will cut away from a deceptive situation even if we don't feel strong enough to do so ourselves. So in the hopes and fears position Virgo we have self-worth. Do not fear self-worth. Do not fear, as she's looking down at this deceptive energy, that you can't speak your truth and be honest about what you deserve. For there will always be another. As long as you trust in prayer and free yourself from unhealthy energies or connections. Look at this. So Spirit's giving you the strength by the end of the weekend, Virgo to summon in those whom are worthy of being in your path and to blocking out those who are not worthy. Heck, you may feel this strength throughout the whole weekend as some form of deception comes towards you. Look at that. Spirit's giving this Virgo that I'm reading for during this general reading. Sun, moon, or rising, male or female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. With the strength energy. The strength to meditate, to get clear with spirit about what you're wishing for. For they're saying there is much more for you to know with the fledgling energy of research. For a fragment of the truth has been revealed. So there are definitely unhealthy patterns, behaviors, or cycles that need to be changed. Or someone here is going to repeat these behaviors on into and through the next 9, 10 years. Be it with this person, this temptation, or another this weekend. So once we know what those unhealthy patterns, behaviors, and cycles are, we can stop them in their tracks and rise above spiritually. For we are in the time of a spiritual evolution where we will only allow loyalty to transpire in our lives and spirits giving you the strength this weekend virgo to take an oath to yourself that if there isn't complete and utter loyalty then you will have the strength not only to bring a situation to a conclusion but to let go emotionally to let go and to fly excitedly into a path where you can manifest success so for clarification, I'm going to bring in the Game of Thrones deck here. 
for this Virgo energy during the weekend of June 26th of 2020. I do feel singles. Uh, we are being tested. And if we can step beyond those tests, uh, many of the collective will be guided by the end of 2020 into the path of their true life partner. So, and this is a year I think of uh, marriage. Um, that Many, many, many people got married in the year 2000. And now with 2020, it's about choosing one person, circumstance or situation in comparison to a new direction. Trusting that spirit through your prayers will always bring you what it is you are praying for. And there is no need to worry. Okay, so in the center of the circle spread, we do have someone, <clears throat> I'm sorry, Celtic spread. We have a Virgo who is either communicating with or is thinking about communication they had. For some with the moon energies as a major arcana, someone who had Pisces in their chart. Now, this is also with the moon energies, confusion and illusion regarding some form of communication taking place on June 26th or 27th. And in the thoughts position, we have a very focused Virgo, focused on a new path uh, whereby there is prosperity or the beginning of, whereby there is a win or an inheritance. For spirit saying, now is the time to be honest with yourself about maybe a three-party situation. Someone here is very much focused on money and are recognizing but are still a bit unclear right that they wanted a new beginning but that they were in denial of the reality of the situation saturday for single virgo some of you if you aren't dealing with the situation involving deception you are going to probably be tempted by someone who has the energies of deception it doesn't mean they're a bad person it means for whatever reason they're walking in their shadow side in this life at this time so that's going to cause conflict frustration inner conflict anger So the advice here is to take action, to find something that really grounds you, to take some time to think about things. For in your actions position, wow, whatever you guys have been working on, Virgo, there's going to be this uh, tower moment, like an aha moment that happens outside of you, some form of clarity. Now, <clears throat> yeah, someone here is going to be tested Saturday by someone who has a three-party situation or you're already aware of that situation and the reality is is that you need to bring a quick and swift ending or that uh, the high priestess of air has or will be bringing a quick and swift ending to uh, any form of deception or she's giving you the strength to say I don't care how rich you are I don't care what you have to offer I don't care you know what you own I'm still going to have the strength to bring an end to a situation because of the realization that there is deceit here. So in the hopes and fears position, have great hope that you can walk in energies of self-worth and still enjoy a passionate connection. But don't allow a passionate connection to be what builds who you are. So in the hopes and fears position, are you hoping to come together and have this passionate connection by Sunday, uh, Saturday night into Sunday? Remember, you're the boss, Virgo. You can summon someone in or you can tell someone to go away. And most of you collectively that are single that have been dealing with this deception or find out about this deception, you're going to have the death energy whereby you can bring an end to a situation. You see that ending coming or you create that ending. And then you can summon in that which is good for you, someone who is loyal to you. Yep, laying down uh, a manipulative situation that caused uh, sadness and depression. All right, so I'm gonna bring in a closing message for whichever Virgo energy this is. This is the Guardian Angel deck by Doreen Virtue. 
should some of these messages have resonated for some of you and thank you to those of you who let me know in the comments section know that i offer a one month three month six month and yearly reading and my price list will be in the box below this video i am still offering the now summer special which is a 15 minute video reading for just 25 dollars if you'd like to give it a try so closing message please for this virgo representing the weekend of june 26th of 2020 nine of emotion this is a magical time in your life virgo when wishes are granted and dreams can come true it may start to seem that good luck is following you but actually these happy times are a just reward for being a loving and kind person your angels are asking you to enjoy your life and to have more fun okay so get beyond the mess and step into what spirit wants to bring towards you for some of you as soon as you let go of someone in the past you summon someone in who is honest and does want devotion you could be celebrating that quicker than you think maybe next week next weekend but you're going to know now that you have the strength with the summoning energies to bring something to an end and to decide who or who is not worthy of stepping into your journey with you great inner strength here remember put yourself first thank you for stopping by for like sharing and subscribing thank you so very much to those of you whom have donated to keep the channel up and running take care and god bless